uploaded a tutorial on how to make a shoulder bag and I got a ton of questions. I'm gonna answer a few of your guys' questions. So first question is, what are the measurements of the bigger bag you've made? I'll get into that later when I give you guys the tutorial, but just so that you guys know, it's 12 by 14. What are the measurements for the smaller bag? So I actually say the measurements in my shoulder bag tutorial, and I believe it's at 59 seconds into the video, so you can just go watch that. I don't remember the exact measurements off the top of my head. Where did you buy the fluffy cheetah fabric? So I actually bought it at Michael's and the interior fabric is also from Michael's. Where did you get your sewing machine? So the sewing machine I'm currently using is my grandma's. This one is from London Drugs but my own little one that I used in my tutorial was actually thrifted. But this one here is the Brother JX2417. Someone said, do you think I can hand sew this? So when I first got into sewing, I actually didn't have a sewing machine. So my first like two or three bags I ever made, I actually did by hand. And if you have a lot of time on your hands, I recommend it but it took me two days to make one bag. How much was your sewing machine? So I'm not exactly sure how much the brother is. Um, I'm sure you can find it on London Drugs website or if you just search it up. Okay, that's all the questions I'm gonna answer for now. But let's get right into this tutorial. I'm super excited to share with you guys how to make this because I really wanna help you guys. Let's just get right into this tutorial. I'm gonna actually start with cutting up the material in the kitchen because it's just a bigger table for me to work on. Here is the sheet of fabric I got two and a half meters which is quite a lot actually I have like I have a lot of fabric here so yeah I'm going to cut the material I'll show you guys kind of how I do that but it's 12 by 14 so I make sure that these are perfectly like aligned okay so then I kind of just like estimate this Here is this one. Um, I'm going to pre-cut like all of the bags and then I'm also going to cut the strap which is going to be 38 inches and this one was 12 by 14. And I forgot to mention to leave like half an inch of seam allowance but when I cut it out I like to do 13 by 15 and a half. I want the handles to be thick so I'm going to do 5 by 38 inches um it really depends how thick and how long you want your strap to be so i cut all the material i'm making four bags at one time so this is the inside why is it not focusing it's gonna be the interior material which is like this black silky it's really nice i'm going to cut it up in the exact same measurements for the outside so i grab the bag um outside or whatever i grab it and then i line it up just like that and now I'm just gonna put this away I'm going to do this for the other three of my bags and then I will get back to you and we're gonna start sewing for the strap I want the outer piece or like the cheetah print stuff to be folded in like so I'm gonna grab my pins and then just pin it and then I'm just gonna pin it along all the way to the end so I have it all pinned up and now I'm going to sew. This is what the sewing machine looks like. Just wanted to mention that really quickly. Voila. Okay, it's done. I can't find my safety pin because I only have one. I've literally ruined all of them. Um, but usually with a safety pin, if you have one, you can just clip it on to one side and then you put it in and then you like pull it through. I'm sure you guys know that trick, um, but I don't really have one. I need to buy more, 
but since this strap is like so big this is really easy to do just like this but when you're working with smaller straps safety pin trick is really great i already stitched these ones so i'm also going to flip these inside out now i have my fabric to make the bag part so i'm gonna start off with just this inside make sure that your like make sure that my silky piece is facing inwards and i'm going to I don't really need to pin this one, I'm just gonna leave it like that, but I do want to pin this one because it tends to move. I'm gonna grab my pieces and just line them up. So now I have the bag all pinned up. There we go, all done. Now I'm gonna do this one. This is a really weird angle, sorry about that. Now I'm going to do a zigzag stitch and just go over it again just to be extra secure. I'm going to check out the shape of the bag and make sure it's how I like it. It's pretty good. This is the smaller one. I don't know why um, this one I cut a little bit smaller. It looks really long right now, but trust me because it's going to fold in and the length is going to be a lot shorter. Okay, so when it's like this and then I fold it in and then I fold it again, does that even make sense? Probably not, just like that, okay? And I'm just going to do that around the whole thing of the bag. I feel like this is pretty easy to make, so I'll show you again. So I have the fabric lined with it, I fold it in, and then I fold it again, like that. And then it'll look like this, and yeah, so I'm gonna finish this. This is what I meant, so I folded it all around and gonna look like that so i'm going to stitch this now i have mine on eight right now Okay, voila, I'm done. So this is what it looks like on the inside. There's like some strings, so I'm gonna cut them off. You can double stitch it again for it to be more secure. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I cut all of the strings off and stuff. And this is just kind of what it's looking like. It's really, this one is the smaller one. I wanted to show you guys my bigger one. Um, this is what it looks like. Here, let me put these side by side. Yeah, so as you can tell by the difference, this one is a lot more wider, which I kind of like better because you can fit more things inside. And these are also available on my Depop, which is A-I-L-L-U-J. It's my name backwards with an extra L. Um, don't really know why. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to put on the strap. So I have these ones which are wider, and then since this one's a little smaller, I have a little bit of a skinnier strap. This one is about like an inch and a half, I wanna say. I don't even know. But what I do, because there's the raw edge, and I just fold it in a little bit, I just line it up with this line in the middle and I want to make sure it's centered and then I will pin it down repeat the same thing to the other side some people ask me for smaller ones just because they are a little bit shorter this one's very short okay yeah this one's definitely for the shorter gals out there now I'm just gonna stitch these on and then I will get back to you when I'm done because I don't really feel like I need to show you guys I'm just gonna stitch it like a few times okay um, I just finished two bags. I still have two more to do, but look at how cute these turned out So this one is the smaller one as you can tell um, Like that and then this is the bigger one. 
I personally like the bigger one. Yeah, so this is the bag. Um, it's so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, don't forget to give this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for 350 subscribers. We're almost at 400. Kind of thinking of doing some more tutorials. These are, these are really fun to make. So yeah, if you guys are interested, um, yeah, and if you guys want to shop my bags at A-I-L-E-A-I-L-L-U-J-M-B-Pop, I'll see you guys in my next video.